Hi, I'm Sean. Welcome to the production room. This is where we make all of our ice cream here at Woodside Farm. Uh, the ice cream is uh, made in these machines here. We have uh, one one-batch machine and two two-batch machines. Um, this machine right here will put up put out about uh, one and a half, two and a half gallon boxes at a time for about three to four gallons, depending on the flavor. Josh, if you want to add the mix. So we have three types of mix base mix that we get from a dairy that processes our milk and pasteurizes it up in uh, Pennsylvania. And it comes back in these two and a half gallon batch bags with the uh, milk, cream, and sugar. He's gonna add it to the uh, ice cream machine through the top funnel. After the mix is added, at this point we add any of the other ingredients that we can put directly into the machine, like our puree, the strawberry puree, and some of the fruit flavors that won't um, be crushed up by the beers. We can also add in at this time our vanilla, our extracts, uh, chocolate chips, and uh, some of our nut flavors can all go in right through this funnel here. Once all the ingredients are added to the machine for, uh, for the things that are going in directly, you can uh, hit the freeze button and the compressor starts and the freezing process begins. Inside the machine is a three spindled beater. As the sides of the machine begin to freeze, these spindles scrape the ice cream away from the sides, uniformly freezing and mixing while also adding air into the ice cream. This is what gives the ice cream its smooth texture. All right, after about six to 10 minutes, depending on the flavor, the ice cream's ready to come out. It comes out at about 21 degrees and is the consistency of soft serve ice cream. We can pack it into boxes that are two and a half gallons or quarts and pints, which Jack is doing now at the quart pint machine. On a busy day, we can do about 140 batches, which is about 300 to 350 gallons of ice cream. Last year, we did about 60,000 gallons of ice cream, and the most popular flavor was vanilla. Once the ice cream is in its container, it makes its way into our deep freezer where it must harden overnight before it can be tempered back to a scooping temperature. Hand dipped hard ice cream like ours is best scooped at a temperature between six and eight degrees Fahrenheit. I hope you enjoyed seeing the ice cream production process and thank you for stopping by.